Welcome back in entertainment news. And this week, our entertainment expert, Rick Bentley, takes a look at a new Marvel series on Disney+. Plus. Take a look. Well, uh, I want to draw your attention to a series that has just launched on the streaming service of uh, Disney+. Plus. It's the first series among several featuring characters from the Marvel Comics universe. Now, in this case, it's the magical Wanda Maximoff, as played by Elizabeth Olsen, and Vision, portrayed by Paul Bettany. You'll remember that pair from the Avengers movies. Now, the, the, it features one of the oddest couples in the superhero world, and it begins in a world that looks like a 50s television show, complete with black and white. What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. That's all? Wanda and Vision are living an idyllic life, uh, complete with a uh, laugh track. Think of it as uh, maybe Dick Van Dyke had a baby with Bewitched. Now, Wanda wants to be the uh, perfect suburban housewife, but uh, often has to call on her mystical abilities. And instead of using her, her powers to battle creatures like Ultron, she's whipping up a meal for her husband's boss. We are an unusual couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. Uh, Vision's taking a job at a company where no one seems to know what they do. It's just, uh, just there to create the kind of hilarity that was so prevalent in those workplace 50s comedies. And the fact Vision is even in the series is kind of a mystery, considering he was killed by Thanos in the feature film world. Now, now those who are paying attention will be able to spot a few clues on what's really happening to Wanda and Vision. The problem is that head writer Jack Schaefer is so miserly with information that the confusion engulfs the entire project. WandaVision is, uh, is fun, particularly because of Olsen as she plays uh, her role to perfection. It would be just a little bit better if the story moved a little quicker. For more entertainment options or more about this film and TV series, go to Rick's Reviews at KGT.com.